hello welcome back to my channel about flutter in today's video we will be seeing how to upload an image to firebase storage so in what we'll be doing here we'll be using a plugin to a plugin called image picker to pick an image on a device and then by uh, once we pick the image uh, this image will be shown in the middle of the screen and then we have a upload image button clicking on which will upload this image eventually to firebase storage this video is the next in the series of loading image from firebase storage uh, that i wrote a while ago so in that uh, in this code recipe what we did was we had a couple of images in the firebase a pre-existing and we clicking on the load image loaded those images from firebase to the flutter app in today's uh, 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 code recipe we'll be doing exactly the reverse uh, we uh, don't have any image uh, so in today's video what we'll be doing so i added uh, the code recipe in here in uploading image in our flutter cookbook uh, the co code recipes where you can find other code recipes as well the last code recipe was the loading image so to quick to quickly check on it so once you say load image or automatically it loads the image if you click on load image again it will pick the another image uh, from firebase so that was the uh, recipe we did last time uh, so we'll be following the firebase configuration that we did in this uh, in this article uh, in this uh, code recipe uh, so you can refer to the firebase project structure from this code recipe that i also have uh, provided uh, the link to this article uh, in below of this video and uh, in today i have added a new code recipe which is upload image so it upload image to firebase what it does is it uh, provides it let you choose your image uh, on emulator so right now i'm using an emulator android emulator here or you can use device uh, for um, iOS uh, platform so iOS simulator doesn't let you use camera in simulator uh, configuration so you need an iOS device if you want to run this code on iOS platform uh, so I'm using Android emulator here so clicking on this first time it will ask you the permission so you can check it give it the permission uh, since I've already run it so I don't need the permission and then it will give you this emulator and I'm clicking on this okay I want this image I take my picture and say accept it so it will show in here this image and once I say upload image so in here you have to give permission on Firebase uh, so a uh, quickly check in the permission rules so you have the Firebase storage uh, uh, here you have to click on storage and go here and go in the Firebase rules and you have to allow it to write it so allow write it true so the good uh, the better way is to give a um, authorization or say if user is logged in so you shouldn't really do this what uh, you see here so here i'm doing is just to quickly show you how um, you can write it to the firebase but i would not recommend this doing it in the real apps and actually after this code recipe i, I demonstrate to you i'm gonna disable it all right so uh, back to our uh, android emulator so in here once it's ready and as you can see in the files i have two folders here images and pdfs that which is already there and now i want to do um, uh, clicking on this image i want to create a new folder uploads and that's where i want to store my all images okay so let's see what it does so i uh, clicked on the upload and then i might want to refresh it Okay, so it created the folder uploads and in here it uploaded the image what we here right here. Okay, so that's what we are going to do in uh, today's uh, code recipe. So let's move to this Android Studio. All right, so I'm here in my upload uh, underscore image dot dot image file and it's a standalone um, a code recipe as well. So if you uncomment this uh, two lines you can actually run uh, this file standalone you don't have to run from the uh, flutter cookbook app and uh, but you have both choices uh, so in here it is a, uh, a stateless widget uh, to start with and inside it it's a stateful widget because i uh, why i chose stateful widget here because i want 
uh, to update my image what is coming uh, what I choose to the image file so I have a file here um, a reference to file and underscore image file so I use image picker for this uh, image picker plugin to provoke to get this uh, functionality built in into my app so don't forget to add into your uh, pub.spec.yaml here so in here the uh, dependence you would need for this uh, code recipe is whatever you needed for the load image which is firebase related you need to have cloud under uh, underscore firestore and such you can see more details in, in the link i will provide you but for this code recipe you need this extra permission image underscore picker to be able to pick from gallery or from camera all right so that's all you need extra and uh, so what uh, it let you do it will get a reference to the image picker uh, and it which is a uh, async task and it returns the future and once you click on the picker.get image and I'm using camera source here so that's why it's opening the camera you can choose to gallery as well and once it's pick the file which is uh, a synchronous thing so it's here since I'm using await it wait for it to uh, pick it and provide this pick file to me and then in the set state method I'm updating this uh, path the picked file into my image file so as um, so once it's get updated so what it does is it um, so this is my UI a simple UI so what it's doing here nothing um, new it's the same uh, UI I borrowed from the last example uh, other just one change here it does update the child in the last recipe I was using future builder to build my um, to, to display my image from Firebase into my app however here since i have my image file so if there's nothing there i simply show it like a little icon there like an add photo icon here and once my image file is available it simply display the image file in middle of the screen so it's very simple the interface here and then you have an upload button image button which is uh, which let you upload uh, on pressing uh, uh, on pressed uh, when the on pressed event is called it will call upload image to firebase so what it this method does is it uses the base uh, a base name so basically it uses the path for the file uh, it gets the file name here so it has the whole path and base name gives you the file name and then what you do with the file name you get the file storage ref, uh, storage reference and then you create the file name uh, up, you put that file name inside the uploads uh, folder so that's why you need the file name for you can either use the same file name or you can change to your needs or you can update this name too so and the second thing what we do so we created a reference in the firebase storage and the next thing we did was storage um, upload task so you put the file this image file in the firebase and once this file is com uh, completed, this upload task is completed, so we are waiting for it, we create, uh, we get the download URL and then print in the console, it's done. So here I'm just printing it to the console, but you can also put uh, the done uh, status in here, like or, or you can choose differently depending on what your needs are so but this does this just does give me the verification it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with the uploading the upload task is actually here putting file and once it's uh, on complete it's a callback that comes back and here it's a status so so that's the only couple of lines that actually does the fire the uploading image to firebase okay and and there's a one more thing a uh, last thing i want to um, share is the info plist in the ios you need to have added some few permissions so the info plist you can find in here in the ios folder in the runner and info plist so once you have this here you have to provide permission to access the camera and also the uses description if you don't then your app will crash without really telling you anything much so uh, so um, don't forget to add this and you can run on device as well 
and with that uh, i'm done with this code recipe i hope you enjoyed this code, code recipe and i will see you in the next video thank you